Suppose, hypothetical question, I must announce that before that. Suppose you were made the Prime Minister of this country for one month, how will you change things? See, there are enough instruments in the democratic process. Making me or anybody a Prime Minister for one month is a cruel thing. Okay, for five years? Yes <laughs> So you admit that one month is not sufficient? No, I, because I one understand. month is a very cruel joke. It doesn't matter who, who comes to power for one month, he can't do anything in a nation as diverse as India. To get this nation moving, you need to understand this, you cannot move this nation with policy, with rules. You can only move this nation when anything that you want to achieve in this country, you make it a movement. If you do not make it a movement, if people do not emotionally connect to that, no rules, no policy is going to work in this country. It is only people who have been implanted from somewhere, who have not grown up with Indian people, who do not understand this. They think if you make a rule, everything is going to work. This is not Switzerland, if you announce on the notice board, everybody will follow. <laughs> Here you have to make a movement out of it. You have to make emotionally people connect emotionally to what needs to be achieved. If you are not able to do that, nothing is ever going to happen. So, whoever becomes the prime minister, I don't want to imagine myself there. Okay. What do you think should be done? It can be very easily done. There are examples of states which are going leaps and bounds ahead. If you saw Bihar just ten years ago, it was just… I've driven through Bihar just wanting to see what Bihar is. It was… it just looked like Afghanistan, mm. large parts of it. Correct. Today things are happening. Absolutely. Wonderful things are happening, just one man. Things are happening in Gujarat, just one man. Absolutely. So can't we produce twenty-five men or women like that in this country for every state? Are we so important that we cannot produce twenty-five human beings with some integrity who will do something straight for this nation? And today you don't have to do much. India is sitting on a boom time. You just have to just manage a few things and let it happen, that's all. You just have to see that economic process do not go out of control, you just have to manage that, you don't have to do anything. It's boom time, the whole world is looking towards you. The only two economies everybody is banking on is right now China and India. India is better equipped because it's a democracy, because all the numbers are scrutinized. But what is in China cannot be scrutinized, so many people are very suspicious and fearful because it's supported by the government. India has a proper corporate structure, India have a, has a reliable uh, stock market which is a reading. Indian market is open, you can study what you want, you know where you're putting your money. So definitely India would be a natural destination for every investor in the world. Only thing is they're afraid of our… System. Corruption, not the system, they like our system. Our corruption… Corrupt system. System is not corrupt. Corruption. Corruption. The reason <laughs> it's the people who are yeah, manning it… are making me say things that he wants me to no, say. No, no, the people who are manning it, people who are manning it are the problem. But how do we find, find them? You mentioned two states, you mentioned Gujarat and you mentioned Bihar. And strangely they are not the states which, which we have in the center. So how do we… are we politically corrupt, politically completely bankrupt? Uh, how do we do that? It is only because common people are not participating in the democratic process. Yes. Participating in the democratic process does not just mean once in five years you ca cast your vote. Most people don't even do that. But I'm saying even if you do that, that is not enough. Democracy is a… is an active sport, it's not a spectator sport. You can't sit back and say, let somebody do democracy. Democracy means you are the boss. You can't sleep on it. You have to be active to everything around you. If you do not bring that consciousness in people, that awareness and activism in people, it will not work. At the same time, for everything you protest, for everything you call a band, for everything, you know, our, it's our culture, people have understood the technology of how to stop the nation, band, hartal. But how to run the nation, it's a different technology. I am saying, at least once a month in your street, in your region, whatever is the sticking points in your area, in your street, just make a list of that, get a few people together, whoever the counselor, the MLA, call him for a meeting,
talk to him what needs to happen. Casting vote once in five years is not good enough because you employ somebody and you don't see that he works. That is not… does make sense, isn't it? <laughs>